Hi, I'm Blue, and today I'll be talking about um, not liking your own artwork and how to stop it. But before I start, this video is brought to you by Surfshark. Being a online exposes you to hackers and snoops, especially in public networks. Uh, Surfshark VPN will hide your online presence along with your IP address, browsing activities, and even personal data on Wi-Fi networks, even at home. They offer the best services with the fastest speeds. Surfshark VPN can also be used to access 3,200 plus ser servers in more than 65 countries, which will allow you to access overseas Netflix, Hulu's, and other streaming services. Here in South Africa, Netflix, we have a small amount of animes to stream, but using Surfshark VPN, I connected to the UK servers, which allowed me to watch my favorite shows like The Promised Neverland and Tokyo Ghoul, which I wouldn't be able to uh, with just my regular South African Netflix. As a special Black Friday offer, get Surfshock VPN at surfshock.deal slash blue and enter my promo code blue for 83% off and an extra four months for free. If you're interested in trying out Surfshock, they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. Thank you so much to Surfshock for sponsoring this video and now on to my tutorial. It's a very difficult video to make and to talk about because it's something I still struggle with a lot. So it doesn't feel like I should be giving advice on it, but I've gotten a lot better over the last year, so I guess I'll just talk about that. <laughs> Not being proud of the things you make and the stuff that you spend so much time on, or being such a hard critique towards yourself can be really demotivating. Wow, your art sucks. You've been drawing for so long, why aren't you any better? This artist is like 13, look at them. You should just give up already. Staying motivated when you bring yourself down is very difficult and that might be why your art is maybe stuck in a plateau. You know, it's not improving and it's just, you know, stuck, I guess. I can't talk too much because I also have a very low self-confidence in my art. It doesn't look like it because obviously I'm not going to show the times where I hate my art or the art that I don't like or the times that I fail. Like most artists do, you know, but a lot of the times I feel like uh, what, I, what I'm doing isn't good enough, I should be doing better. Uh, sometimes I burn myself out because I feel like I need to be doing more, like some artists that, like some other artists that I follow, you know, just stuff like that. When that's obviously not true, everyone is different and comparing yourself to others is unfair to your art journey. I know, blah blah blah, we always hear that, but sometimes it's it's difficult, you know. Uh, I've gotten a lot better with not feeling like this. Uh, I found some things that helped me get out of that bad mindset. So here are some things that help me stay motivated with art and what I do when I feel horrible about the work I make. The first one is reason. Have a reason to want to do art, whether it's being whether it's something as big as wanting to be an animator one day or as small as wanting to draw cute furry fluffy animals just for fun or even just being like another artist that you look up to having a reason will help you stay motivated and inspired your reasoning can change that's that's fine mine has always been to be able to draw comics for my characters someday and being good enough to make art tutorials which is obviously something i want to do in the future <laughs> But I'm still very far away from taking those very seriously. So that kind of motivates me to carry on. The second one will be comfort zone. Going out of your comfort zone will help you get better at drawing different things. Thus getting you out of that feeling of being stuck or drawing the same thing over and over again. I see you with your like half turned faces to the left that you draw in every single picture. <laughs> um, slowly step out of your comfort zone. You don't need to make, take massive leaps. Just tiny little steps at a time will help a lot. If you draw the same thing over and over again without change, it will become muscle memory, but still the same drawing that you drew in the beginning. There won't be any changes or improvement. Do little changes at a time and you'll start being able to draw more and more of that thing in different, more interesting ways and you'll get better at it and start improving. The third one's going to be keep trying new things. Don't get stuck in the mindset that you have to keep drawing that one art style, that one drawing technique that you chose for yourself when you were 11. <laughs> uh, keep trying new things. Don't be afraid to try different things, like uh, if you do a line art, try painting, or if you do digital art, try traditional work. Uh, I was always stuck in this mindset that I needed one art style and I needed to draw one way, so when I started painting, 
I never let myself do any line art and I always stuck to this messy style, messy colorful style that I just wasn't happy with after a while but I didn't want to change it because I thought well people are going to like this, people aren't going to know it's my art and that is so demotivating I kind of just stopped drawing after a while. Um, but that's wrong, you should keep trying new things. It makes things so much more interesting and so much more enjoyable because you're like figuring things out and you know you're learning new things so I change my style every second week now like I steal styles from all different kind of artists and I have fun you know and the last one is don't be afraid to make mistakes mistakes are the only way you'll get better at any skill I know it's difficult when things don't go the way you imagined it especially if you're a huge perfectionist or you're very hard on yourself when things don't turn out the way you planned. I heard once you need 10,000 hours on a craft to be considered a professional and every mistake you make brings you closer to that 10,000 hours. When you make a mistake, uh, rather than being super hard on yourself and telling yourself to give up, take a break, come back to it later, see where you can get better and accept that you're not at the point you want to be yet. Stop comparing yourself to other people, other artists. Uh, you don't get to see artists mistakes uh, like I probably have drawn at least 10,000 fixtures that sucked, you know? <laughs> you don't get to see them because it's not something I show off. Same with like really amazing artists. I'm sure like really talented artists have drawn thousands upon thousands of drawings that, you know, just aren't what their standard or they didn't like. But every drawing that they did, even if it was awful, was a step closer to what they are now. So forgive yourself for the bad drawings keep going because every bad drawing will get you closer to your goal and finally uh, have a better understanding of what you're drawing will help build your confidence uh, like understanding the shape or the form or the anatomy will make it so much more easier to draw which may will make you know drawing so much more enjoyable because it's not so stressful anymore um, I have a lot of videos on anatomy and studying and stuff like that so you guys can go check that out I'll leave that in the description if you're interested But I don't want to harp on about studying again because I do that in every single video <laughs> um, Anyways, this is the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching and thank you to Surfshark Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. I Opened a patreon if you're interested in supporting me there. It's, it's just gonna be a tip drawer I will post polls on my next tutorials there and maybe I'll release them earlier um, <laughs> I'm still gonna release all my tutorials on YouTube. I'm not gonna keep it a patreon exclusive or anything like that. Don't worry uh, It's just a tip jar since I do these things for free If you're interested in that, I'll link that in the description um, Yeah, 